Good morning. Today is September 27, 2022. And today I have a quick and beautiful game for you. This variation is the King Gambit variation, which I used to do a lot. Not so much anymore, because after a while, for some reason, a lot of people can beat me when I use this opening. So I stopped using it. The versions, the opening variation is basically e4, e5, f4, and this is accepted. Uh, it takes f4 and f3. This is Fisher variation d6, d4, uh, d4, and so on. So before I continue doing this, let me show you some passes. There are two of them. It's so quick. So two of them. Here's the first one. Black, black has just pushed the pawn to b5. What should I do? Second puzzle. Black has just pushed the pawn to h6. What should I do? Alright, so let's begin over here. As I said earlier, King Gambit opening is like this. So pretty much just keep going one after the other. So this is rather aggressive because it opens up the space on the king set. So if white wants to castle, has to do it on the queen side. So that limits the you know uh, possibilities for what's defense, assuming it's being defensive. Just developing and this is actually it's not a good thing over here because as you can tell all the pieces are attacking on the king side over here and as somebody told me that's it's so foolish that you want to castle into the direction of the attack. So that's not a good thing. Don't castle in the direction of the attack. Next move. And just keep attacking, attacking, attacking castle. And black this has to attack my king. So this is puzzle number one. And this is the answer to that one. Over here, as you can tell, it's basically a mistake. So let's see what happens. Attack the knight, cast the pawn, counter attack the pawn, attacks the bishop. And at this point in time, black is in big trouble. So in four moves, it's like suddenly I'm winning already. And it's only move 14. So attack that one. Take that one, and here's the second puzzle. Over here, blocks blocks the access over here because you know if uh, the pawn here takes that one, suddenly it becomes open. So, so that's a consideration basically. So this looks like a defensive move, but it's not a defensive move exactly because you look at this pawn over here, control the both sides, which won't happen if the pawn is taken out. So you have to balance it one or the other. In this case, that's just a mistake because, like I said, the whole thing is bearing down on this thing over here. So, so just very deadly. Now the possibility is that the net can move here, and this square is not guarded. So 
you can attack this one. So you look at the number of squares being attacked over here. Uh, let's not do it. When the net goes here, the squares next to the king is being taken out. So many, so many squares being taken out over there. So, yeah, that's a mistake right there. Next move. And that's a good thing right here, right? Uh, I think it got a brilliant move over here because it's totally unexpected. But as you can see, it is the right move because suddenly I'm very much winning. So that's pawn, and that's knight, that's bishop. And black is desperate to do some kind of counter attack. At, but at this point in time, black resigned because the queen can be just taken out immediately. So that's one way to, for me to win. Another way for me to win uh, as a possible continuation would be to do a check here, oh, over here. Now, uh, black cannot do any block whatsoever except by giving out the pawn and the rook. So, otherwise, you know, we'll just have to go that way. And just basically being over here, I can do the bishop over here, move over here, and take that. So, could have done that too. And there you go. Boom, boom. Done. So, that's it for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.